Hey, kitten. Rawr. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Uh, we're kind of picking back up from a weird drop off that B did for us last night. The alligator uh, goth girl person. Kind of hard to tell gender in this game. Not that it matters, but still, I want to use the right pronouns. Um, it, it was a little weird. She dropped us off just short of our house and made us walk the last couple of blocks and was like really, really abrupt about it. Uh, made it back home. And so we're just picking right back up with dad. Listen, May, I'm sorry about last night. I really thought you were coming home tonight. Yeah, no, how do you get that mixed up? Come on. It's okay, I guess. You know me with the bad memory. I was just talking right at me. Yeah, I remember. I mean, you do pretty well. Yeah, I remember to eat and breathe. You know what? I'll, that's fine. That's fine. Go for it. You're really good at, like, remembering how to walk. I'm a champ. Tell you what. How about we pretend I did come home tonight, and we just got back from the bus station? Start over? Yeah. Okay. You know what? That's a great idea. Good for you, too. Way to actually make it work. Hey, Dad! Hey, May. <laughs> <laughs> This showed the same level of excitement. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you're home. Okay. Woo. -hoo. Missed you so much. Now quiet down. Daddy's stories are on. Welcome home, May. I'm going to sleep, I think. Well, you've had a big day. Good night, kitten. Night, Dad. Oh, I made a little entry in my notebook. Uh, Dad looks older. Still funny, though. Hey. Goals. Dad goals. What are her mom scampered off to? This thing goes off randomly every month or so. A little wooden duck pops out and makes the weirdest sound. Scares Dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was Granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. All right, has the crawl space been cleared out? Nope. Yeah, Dad put him here, I bet. Dad should... So, I was going over the footage from, episode, from the first episode when I posted everything... And it really did appear to me that some groundwork is being set for some of the heavier stuff coming up in the episode, right? Like, uh, uh, the song that we all sang in the band, I feel like, had a lot more significance than I was willing to put on it at the time. Just because I was blown away that we were doing, like, a... Oh, hello, sudden guitar hero section. Um, I went back and actually, like, read the lyrics, because I couldn't do that while I was trying to play the game. And yeah, they were like waving a big flag there. This, I mean, the song was called Die Anywhere Else But Here, right? And there was a leaf motif going on, indicating the forest. But which song? Uh, Space Dragon! Yeah, dude, let's rock out on Space Dragon. Wanderer in space, no matter forbidden place. Oh, we actually get to play some more. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Played through the whole thing. I really had to concentrate. Uh, what a lot of people may not know is whenever you're playing uh, on a system that's like actually hardwired into your uh, computer, in this case, it's my PlayStation hardwired into the laptop, there's actually a sound delay through the recording software. Now, I've got settings set up to offset that for when I actually go in and do the editing. But while I'm playing, the sound is actually off by like 500 milliseconds, which is fine for normal gameplay. But when it comes to uh, the rhythm section of the game, uh, it causes a big problem. Bedtime? Let's say no. You can't live in bed, May. Can't sleep today away. I wonder if we can go back out of the house and do some wandering. Bye, Dad! Going out! Oh, nope. Can't actually do that. Boo. All right, bedtime it is then. All right. Sleepy times for Kitten May. Sweet dreams, girly. Mm. 
Crazy Dreams, Haunted House. No, just another restful night. Just me and the spiders in the crawl space. Oh, scritchy scratch. Whew. Time to get cleaned up and take a bath. Wow, it's literally been 36 hours since I've been online. This shall not stand. Yeah, that would be painful after a little while. Oh, hi. Some Somebody's been downloading software they shouldn't be. Ah, no, what's wrong with you? Burly singles in your zip code. Hot dads want to build a deck. I bet Angus knows how to fix this. He's all computery, I think. But I can't let him see this. <laughs> Where does he work again? Why may, you little minx. All right, can we... Get, well, thank you, that was overwhelming. Okay, crawl space probably hasn't changed. I don't even know what this door is. I assume it's my parents' room? Ugh, I have never liked this bird. Cats typically tend not to like birds, I'm told. Mom has all of her grizzly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy sad shelf in their room. Oh, looks like one of Mom's books made it out here. And we even ate the horses. One family's horrifying farm life in the 1880s. Jeez, Mom. Must be a mom thing. My mom loves frontier stories. She's like the biggest Laura Ingalls Wilder fan you will ever find on this planet. Hey, hon! Yeah? Come say hi! Okay, I guess. I don't want to, but I will. Hi, Mom Flanders! Hi, Lee ho, neighborinos! <laughs> Wop. Morning, Mom! Nope, I'm Mom 24 hours a day! <laughs> All right, I'll give that to you. That was actually a pretty good one. Har, har, har. Also, it's 4 p.m., sweetie. Well, I'm off to find Angus. Hey, you're a heavy sleeper, huh? Oh, he's one of your little friend Greg's boyfriends that I can read. Big guy, kind of quiet. Looks like Party Bear from Adventure Time. Yeah, that's him. I need him to fix my laptop. Well, he better, sweetie. He can't afford to buy a new one. Wait, do you even know Angus? Do you? Yeah, <laughs> Mom, we are in a band together. Sorta. Oh, is he the band back to? Oh, is the band back together? Yeah, we practiced last night. I don't think we're ever gonna play though. Mm -mm. Well, that sounds like fun, honey. Y'all are just lazy and not applying yourselves. Yeah, I guess. You don't sound too happy about it. Eh, normal teenage ennui. Well, I'm off to find Angus. Have a good time, daughter! Thanks, 24-hour mom. Seven days a week! Yeah, mom's a little bookish and maybe a little hands-off, but you can tell that she genuinely cares. She's the only one asking, like, introspective uh, uh, questions towards her daughter, trying to figure out what it is that's going on in this girl's life. Dad's just like, hey, you're home. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you kid. Adult. So you're back, huh? Yes, Mr. Penderson. Didn't last long, eh? No, ow. No, Mr. Penderson. You get a job yet? Uh, let's be sassy. Yes, I've been elected mayor. Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't do worse than the current one. And I've ordered your house to be bulldozed. What? Finishing the job you started? I hope you enjoy living in the woods. Those eggs took the paint off the vinyl siding. Scavenge food. Commune with the beast, Mr. Penderson. Watch yourself, little miss. Little effing miss. No one's forgotten who you are and what you did, you know. They may act like they have, but that's just small town polite right there. Is that what this is? Small town polite's all you got, kid. So watch it. Well, that was really interesting. But I need to go listen to my cells die. Pa. Pa. Well, that was uh, enlightening. What an old cranky asshole. All right, construction is happening here clearly. Well, it sure is fall. All the war road work crammed in before winter makes us like half the town inaccessible, which is super handy for ludo narrative reasons. 
Unless you want to walk the long way around for like 20 minutes, which I mean, no. It's not like I'm a, you know, apex predator built for, you know, fast and silent running. I know I kind of like blazed through the town in the last episode. Let's kind of take a moment to enjoy the foliage, talk, see the sights. I talk to you, you shifty little son of a gun. What's it like being back? Well, I just got home, so just like taking it all in. Feel like anything's changed? Well, we had a snack falcon. Nah, not really. Same old, same old. Same people, same streets, same trees. Same sad people walking around with bloodshot eyes. I wish I could get away. Where would you go? I want to go out to the ocean. Get a stable job that pays worth a damn. Make jewelry out of things I find on the beach and sell them. And do karaoke every night. Can I come visit? That sounds awesome. Can you karaoke? Does it have to be any good? Doesn't matter, girl. Just got to show up. Yeah, dude. Hey, you got dreams, man. You got to do what you can to fulfill them. You want to make jewelry? Start right now. There may not be a beach, but there's things you can find. There's my property. But it's my street. You ain't changed since you was a kid. Apparently, I was a little hellion. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Hello, May, my best worst student. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha, yeah. Don't ask my college professors how I was. Like the constellations, hated school. Hey, don't knock school. School is vital for future. What are you doing back in Possum Springs? I dropped out of school. Oh. Well, if you're still interested in constellations, come by my roof down the hill later this week. Should have my new telescope set up by then. Look at all stars. Point and say, yes, he's star. He's nice. Sure thing. There we go. See? Small town nice. We can make pleasantries. Wee. I remember when B's family had a house and not a tiny depressing apartment. Oh, uh, okay. So something happened with B's family. B, uh, they own a shop and B's supposed to be like taking over the shop, but it, maybe they've fallen on hard times. Like everyone else in this town. Look, and I know full well that this isn't like a like a full on horror game, right? Like nothing's gonna jump out and go a bloogie woogie woo at me. This is kind of more slice of life, slower, calmer sort of a thing. And the very first thing we need to deal with is the apparent death of a small town, which is sad and depressing enough. My God, what kind of weather did I miss? This is nuts. Well, wasn't gonna go to church anyway. Oh, the church is up there. And I got a new thingy. Yeah, the entire thing is a big skeleton. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like another grabby minigame. Harfest! Uh, missing. Casey Hartley. 19 of Possum Springs, last seen at dusk on June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. He was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, and black canvas shoes. If you have any information as to the location of Casey Hartley at any time since his last known sighting, please contact the Possum Springs Police Department immediately. Uh, yeah, let's take this. Wait, ball of yarn? I can take? Okay, well, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? Oh, what interest would a cat have in a ball of yarn? Oh no, there's a there's an actual subway. Pale white tunnel fish, easy to catch and so delish. That's good. Oh god, you were listening? Uh, yeah. You're in a public place, man. Hey, I just got back in town, and the one thing I missed most was. Hey, I remember you. Hello! Thief! Oh, come on. That was years ago. Once a thief, always a thief. You stay away from my pierogies and pretzels! Alright, you know what? Uh... This isn't even a restaurant. It's a crappy food stand in a hole. This establishment has been in business for 50 years! 50 crappy years in a hole? You know what else has been in a hole for 50 years? Your mom! Dead people from the 60s. Burn! Got him! No respect! No respect this one! I bunker you good with the pierogi! <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. You can keep your whole pretzels and your damp pierogies. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Go jump in the river! Okay. 
Well, apparently no one likes me here. Delicious pretzels. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, it's Poochie. Oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa. Hmm. I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. I hate it when people do that. And I caught myself doing that to, like, other, like, my friends' kids, whom I haven't seen in a while. I was like, oh, I saw you when you were a baby. And I was like, Mrrr. It's like, don't do that. You've become everything that's ever annoyed you. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How did you know Granddad? I'm here most days. Why don't you stop by sometime and I'll tell you all about him. Things you might not know. All right, you've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. Well, to start with, he was an absolute dynamo in bed. You got the stomach for those kinds of stories? Because, man, have I got a lot of them. Man was like an outboard motor. You just pulled the cord a little bit and he'd run for hours. Okay, so yeah, it's not necessarily fast travel, but there's some cool stuff in there. Anything hot going on to the Social Security Administration? Possibilities? Nay. Video Outpost 2. What's going on in here? Well, hello. Can I help you? I don't think so. I'm just trying to rent Death Chill 3. I've already seen Brain Eaters way too many times. <laughs> and don't get me started on Swamp Husband. All right, nothing to do there. Video rental stores, how quaint. Nothing going on at the Patty Barn. Here's that statue and all the posters. I think I have a great great uncle or something on this. Yep, there you go. Anselm Borowski. Anselm. Even in life, he was tragic. Ugh, so disaffected. Anselm's a cool ass name. Tell us off. No idea what that's all about. Fat Pocket Pound. And we're back where we started. Okay, good. I have a little bit more of a flavor of the town. So not only do I kind of know what's going on here and there, but now I know that everybody hates me. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't talk to you. What's up, dude? Hey, killer. Ugh, don't call me that. Who are you? Mori M. How do you even know about the killer thing? It was a big deal, even to us middle schoolers. Uh, let's play it off cool. Yeah, well, that was a long time ago. Why did you do it? I don't know. Did he have it coming? No. Our mothers told us not to talk to you. Because no one knew when you were gonna do it again. Well, say hi to, say hi to your mother for me. She sounds lovely. Oh, she's gone. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Yeesh. Okay. N not only does everybody hate me, apparently I have something of a checkered past. I'm a little, uh, like, late teenage, perhaps early 20-year-old college dropout delinquent who maybe killed somebody? We're just peeling back the layers of this onion, slowly but surely. Hmm. All right. Gentlemen, how are we doing here at Miller's? Better take shelter. Here come the smelters. No use hiding. Smelters will find you. Okay. Is that like some kind of like gang thing? I don't know. Oh, I want to get on the roof of the Snack Falcon. Darn it. Now, obviously, that's where I go to talk to my friend who will be able to get me to his boyfriend so they can fix my laptop. But I want to keep doing some exploring. I just want my computer. I need the internet girl same it's more important than whatever's out there all right fair enough anything hot happening in the click clack diner real quick no not so much okay moving on <laughs> oh you hey may got cups on my ears why? I was thinking about how they have beaches in Brad Harbor, and then I was thinking about the ocean, and how people in the ocean put cups on their ears. I read it in a magazine once. Then I put cups on my ears, and it sounds like the ocean. Oh, well, that, that makes sense. 
Wow, dude, you took me on a journey. Speaking of, uh, nothing, I guess. Do you know where I could find Angus? At work, at the video store. Nuh-uh, bitch, I was just there. There was just this really hot deer who didn't give me the time of day. What do you want Angus for? Oh, I got computer problems. Figured he might know a thing or two. Well, he's a hacker. Really? Red hat or white hat? I'm pretty sure he hacks. Wow. Cool, dude. I'll catch you later. Definitely. I'm so glad you're back. You want some cups? They're a lot of fun. How about a big old box of snakeums? <laughs> now with 50% more snake. All right, well, back to the video store, I guess. Just running around the little town. All right, we're back. Hello. Can I help you? Where's Angus? Oh, he works day shift? It is day. I got here early. Any idea where he is? I assume he went home. He lives next door. Go inside and ring the buzzer. Wait, why does everything you say sound like a question? You do the same thing? I just didn't comment on it. Really? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Somebody got paid to write that dialogue. Ugh. All right, so he lives next door in Possibilities? Or the Social Security Administration? Or maybe they mean this next door. Hey, cousin, where are you off to? It's a little weird that there's regular cats in a town full of anthropomorphized animals. Um, Angus, 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 where do you live, sir? Uh, Greg and Angus. Oh, they live together. That's nice. Wait, there's no button? Hmm. There's got to be some way to make this work. Okay, well, let's back out. Maybe I need to find, like, a little doohickey to make this work? Let's look for a doohickey. Or I could just take the stairs. Or we'll just do this top one here. Why not? Hello? 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 You're not Angus. Who is this? Who are you? May Borowski. Why are you selling? Did you get a lot? Do you get a lot of people selling you stuff? Hello? Click. Oh, well, that didn't work. Let's check Erdl. Mm, yes. Um, hi, Angus. Oh, Angus, you say? Dude, it's May. Tell me about yourself, Maybelline. This isn't Angus. Would you like it to be? Nope, bye. Mm, click. How about you? Maurice? May. Angus? May? Yeah. You're not Angus. And you ain't Maurice! Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. Click. Blanketies. Click. Hello, Angus? Are you searching, my child? Yeah. For Angus. You can search all you like for your Angus. Everyone has a different Angus. For some, Angus is a happy marriage. For some, a good career. For some, a fancy car. My Angus is a guy named Angus. Lives here. Bear-shaped. Has a hat. My child, no Angus will ever compare to the one true Angus, the Lord God above. Okay. Dear, have you ever encountered God this day? Look, my mom works at the church. I'm in the club by default. Click. Creepy. Hello? 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 I'm looking for Angus. Any idea where Angus lives? I believe he's at number two. Written on the button, I think. It looks, uh, broken. I think the little guy he lives with kicked it in. Greg? G or something? How? Beats me, kid. I just live here. Click. Well, what a colorful group of neighbors. Back off to go visit Greg. A lot of the game's gonna be like this, isn't it? A lot of running back and forth and doing, like, 
tiny little puzzles and quests. All right, cup ears, let's chit chat. Show that arm, huh? Jeez, yeah, what the hell? What do you think happened? I don't know. They're talking about the severed arm that we found in the last episode. How does an arm end up on the sidewalk in Possum Springs? I mean, kind of cool, but creepy. And like two doors down from our apartment. Yeah, you live in Towny Century now, right? Yeah, we live next door. <laughs> Man, you've been away for a long time. I have. Uh, you up for hanging out later? So much to catch up on. Nah, I got dinner with the family. A friendly thing. Is it six o'clock yet? Uh, bro, you gonna help me out with what's going on with your apartment? I wanna go talk to Angus. Can I not talk to Angus? Alright, well... That didn't work out. Many hours later... There, okay! Apparently I had to complete the circuit with my hand. Click. Hello? Ah! Who is this? Hi, it's May! May? Yeah, May! I just got electrocuted. Oh yeah, it's fiddly. There's no button! Yeah, you can like stick a screwdriver in and, well, it's too late now. Uh, come on up. Click. There we go. That was not super obvious. All right, let's go up and see what Greg's all about. Or, you know, the other one, not Greg. Hi, not Greg! Whoa, come right in. Hey, dude. Uh, welcome to our apartment. I could have been in my underwear. Hey, dude, don't wear pants on my account. Why was the door unlocked? Greg always forgets to lock it. Greg's at work if you're looking for Greg. Greg. Greg, Greg, Greg. I was actually looking for you. My laptop is messed up, and I thought, what's wrong with it? Well, lots of things pop up when I turn it on. What kinds of things? Uh, you know, things about things, not for kids things. Uh, meh. You know what? Let's just be honest. Dude's probably seen far worse. Why didn't you bring it with you? I forgot it. Hmm. You know, mate, you don't have to, like, be embarrassed about... I'm not. I mean, everyone. I know. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> Over here. Click, click, click. Okay, you're done. All fixed. Okay, I got something for you. Plug this into any USB port and restart. Should clear you right up. It might delete some of your old files, though. Wow, thanks, dude. No problem. Gonna head on home. See if your magic works. It's not magic. It's just science! It's just ones and zeros. And we're just atoms. And our perception of reality is just chemical reactions. Boy, you're a fun guy to talk to. Take those away and poof, there goes the universe. Whoa, sorry. I'm gonna go. All right, home again, home again. Uh, Angus, yep. That's the man. No time to banter. Dad, I've got laptops to fix. Porn to clear out. I love that this took me all day. Let's see if this Angus fix works. Can't get it any worse, at least. I guess it could be on fire. Could be worse. Could be righted. Oh my god, it's fixed! I guess it turned out okay then? Your computer? Yeah, it did, thanks! How am I talking to you? I put something else on that drive. Do you remember? Demon Tower? Do you remember? Oh wow, yeah, I used to play that all the time, like 10 years ago. I've been playing again. Oh, I clearly we're chatting. They've kept updating it. You can grab your old save game from their server and start right where you left off. Oh, cool. You should check it out, and we can talk Demon Tower sometime. It's really cool still. I'm deaf doing this. Aw, oh, thanks, Angus. Tips hat. Milady. Hey, did you get that porn off your laptop? I heard you broke it with so much porn. Dude, you know it. Rick Rackage told me that before the internet, they'd had porn in a hollow log in the woods. Can confirm. That is, the woods was the top-notch porn spot to hide things in small towns. Yeah, that was a thing, right? 
Be awkward if you are hiking out to the porn. Yeah, rough to do on cold days. And some dude was already there, and you're like, Sup, dude? I guess we're both here for the porn. Uh, I bet that happened. You know it did. I bet they became friends. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Sup, so, dude? You're coming to the party tomorrow night, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Appreciate that Greg is the guy who would use the wrong your. What party? Up in the state forest. Lots of people home from school and stuff this weekend. Cool people. The big fire, the snacks, the beers. Wait, is Greg a girl? Did you mean to write snacks or snakes? Both, dude. Both. Cool. Well, you should ask me if she could drive us. What? No, I don't think she likes me. Nah, dude, she's cool. She drives all, us all the time and lets us borrow her car. Stop by her store tomorrow and ask, okay? Please? Okay, whatever. Yay! <laughs> My cursor is pizza. Okay, well, you know, it's been a rich, productive day. We uh, walked around town, and it took us way too long to figure out how to get all the porn off our laptop, but hey, it's working. Gotta poke around on this a little bit, but we're gonna have to do that some other time. We're out of time for today. Bye. Ba da ba da ba ba da shoo be doo wa ba da ba da ba.